Cape Town may be famous for Table Mountain, but did you know that approximately one third of our city is actually built on low-lying land that is prone to flooding? This vast area, known as the Cape Flats, is home to more than 544,000 people, the majority of whom live in informal dwellings. Every year, thousands are left homeless due to flooding. We've been blessed to be a blessing, so this year, Common Ground Church, let's warm up winter. The journey may start in your wardrobe, but that's not where it ends. It was very difficult. It was raining the whole day and night. I didn't have much clothes to wear. I was staying under Kobeck Bridge. From the first day when I came to my network, they gave me clothes and shoes. That helped me much because I did feel comfortable when I'm boarding a taxi, train, wherever I was walking, I was feeling like a man. It can be transformative, you know, people walking into a store and seeing something of good value that, that they can afford. It, it changes people, it, it says to them, hey, I've, I'm, I'm worth it. Well, I bought a pair of cops, jeans, and a jacket. My jacket is broken. If I don't come here, I'm not going to have shoes. I'm looking for me for clothes that I can wear for the winter. People at the companies like people see, like, I can give you a work because you look after yourself. Your gift at Common Ground Church is allowing us to, to empower people and make them independent of us so that through more giving from you, um, people become less and less dependent on gifts. Some people think that those who have nothing uh, can do with anything as long as it will keep them warm. But the, I believe that God's heart for people and, and, um, is that those who have nothing actually deserve the very best because they don't have a choice. It was really cool seeing people actually hand high value pieces of clothing which I probably previously wouldn't have considered donating. And it's, it's very cool to be reminded that those people have value and are made in the image of God and actually deserve uh, gifts like that. I was very happy when I heard that the, the clothes that I was getting from Network, it was donated by the good people who are out there with nice hearts and I want God to bless them. Every Christian has something that they're able to give. Whether it's your time, your things, your skills, your money, your relationships, you can prayerfully consider what it is that you have that will uplift the dignity of someone else and really respond to a specific need that they have. It's important for Christians to be generous and it's something, it's a fruit of the Spirit that we get from God and it's it's a display of one of God's biggest characteristics is that He was ultimately generous. We must recognize that everything that we have belongs to God. Everything that we have um, is His. And sometimes He will bring opportunities across our path where we can bless other people with those gifts. Think about and pray about what it is that you have to give. When we realize that everything we've been given is a gift from God, then sharing with those in need becomes a joy rather than an obligation. Keen to get involved?